I understand you'd like me to hear your confession? Yes, I would. Not exactly a confession. I haven't yet done the deed. I'm here for you, Mark. Is it possible for me to know a woman in the biblical sense? Are we talking about sexual intercourse? I think so. Outside marriage? My penis speaks to me, Father Brendan. This therapist suggested I could work with a sex surrogate who would be sensitive to my unusual needs. In my heart, I feel like he'll give you a free pass on this one. Go for it. Yeah, maybe. Yes, it's good. Hi, Mark O'Brien. Your money's on the desk over there. Yes, it is. That was the wrong way to start off. It really was. Shall we start again? Please. You start. I'm not a prostitute. You don't have to pay me up front. And there's a limit to the number of sessions we can have. The limit is six. Shall we get undressed? Sure. First session. He was extremely nervous. So let's forget about it. Mark, do you want to see this woman or not? No. Oh, it's too late. What for? 18 foot. What kind of therapist is she? She's a sex therapist. Today, they're working on simultaneous orgasm. What's that? You're going to start to listen to signals from your body. That way, you'll be able to have some control. Oh, God. I understand even among non-believers, the most common expression of sexual ecstasy is, oh, God. <laughs> Picture yourself as a six-year-old boy. Do you blame him for getting polio? What is she like? Cheryl. She's the most wonderful person on the planet. I don't usually meet with clients outside of work. We don't have to do much talking. I just want people to say, hey, who's that gimp with that beautiful blonde? <laughs> what happens when people become attached to each other? Maybe this is a bad idea. I think you've done a great thing. She adores me, and I can get pretty kinky. Am I sharing too much, Father? Go on. <laughs>